Ah. Uh. Ah. Uh. When I open my eyes, I can only see black. I was logged out. How much my head was blocking my vision. When I realized that, I quickly reached up and grabbed the helmet and pulled it off. But when I did, a nauseating sight was waiting for me. Strangle, you say? Oh. Mia's called dead body. God damn it. She was probably going to be the next person I hang out with regularly. Damn it. Damn it. Ugh. Live and let the languid world live. Daybreak. The sun had risen while we were inside the virtual world. <sighs> and Kaido is. Ding dong. dong Body has been discovered. Ding. Everyone, please report to the computer room. Wait, you're already all here. Now then. Wow, I hate to bring you the bring you the body discuss, uh, discovery announcement live. Yeah. Woo, doing it live is great. Better than beer and fucking. Uh, you guys know how good fucking is, wouldn't you two? Wouldn't you? <laughs> huh, Daddy? You always have such a potty mouth. Hey, um, I was holding back because we already had uh, one vulgar cast member. Now it's my time to shine. That's Thankfully, nice. I'm adorable, so I can get away with saying all kinds of uh, crude stuff. Yeah, I finally get to be a foul-mouthed asshole. Yeah. Hmm, what a vulgar last word. So right now, okay, so Mia died. Right now, the most suspicious is obviously Kokichi. After that, Kaido, because of his disappearing act. And... I don't feel as though it's Kaido. Kaido would be such an easy ant. No, Kaido seems unlikely. Unless he really did get so desperate. I suppose it's possible. Kokichi would be such an easy answer. I just... How he acts... I have a hard time seeing him actually kill anyone. Instigate and get people in situations where they'll want to kill each other and, like, help them, maybe. Give them opportunity. Yes, I can see Kokichi doing that, but I don't see him actually killing someone. Especially when he's acting so suspicious before the fact, so... The fact that she said... Uh, he said strangle, though. <sighs> yeah, that's not a good sign, though. What a Vogel has word. Hey. What's wrong, Manitaro? You're just staring blankly at the body. Eh? Staring at the body. Oh, yeah, because it's his mommy, right? <laughs> mommy. Oh, God, they're they're just going insane. We barely heard the announcement. As we stared at Miu, dumbfounded. We just stared at Miu's corpse. That's terrible. It's terrible. Why did it end up like this? Why? Miu... Why? <laughs> What's going on? Why was Miu killed? You don't not understand either. Miu like this one going to wake up? Why? Wait, what's going on? Why this happen? Yeah. Uh, it's obvious. Uh, it's obvious a murder happens. Huh? M murder? Weird. What do you mean? Did something happen while Gonza slept? No. We weren't able. We weren't asleep, and that wasn't a dream. We we're in the virtual world. Hey, hey where's Kaido? That's right, Kaido. Is if almost on cue. We heard footsteps running down the hallway. The sound growing louder until the door burst open. Hey! Hey, what's this all about? What was that body discovery announced? What? Uh, me? What the hell is going on here? Ah. Oh, you're too late, okay. All the others finished gasping in terror already. So it's perfectly possible that he could have killed her. Because he and Mew seem to be the only ones out, right? By the way. But anyway. Uh where were you this whole time, Kaido? What were you doing? So I was just taking a nap. Hmm. Huh? Taking a nap? Um You were sleeping. Kota was sleeping too. Had strange dream, Kota not understand anything. Um... As I said, that was the virtual world. So, you logged out by yourself, then took a nap without her permission. You know, I suddenly got logged out. Before I realized it, I was back here. Uh, um, you were logged out involuntarily. Uh, 
okay? Yeah, I didn't know if it was okay to log back in, so I went back to my room and slept. Damn it. And when that body discovery uh, announcement woke me up, I rushed over here. <laughs> hey, Kaido, if you're gonna lie, then you might as well do it better. If you're gonna think you can make the killing game more exciting with a crappy lie like that. Hold on. It's not a lie, I really was sleeping. Hey. Hold on a minute. We can discuss whether uh, or not that's a lie later. What we need to do right now is begin the investigation. We need to discover who killed Miu. <laughs> <laughs> you seem ready. Well, of course you are. Right? One of your dear friends is killed, so it's finally time for you to shine. Hmm. Explain it however you like, Yokichi. The fact is, is we don't, if we don't find out who the culprit is, we'll all be executed. No. I, but I won't let that happen. I'll find the culprit so that we can all survive. Um, Even if the culprit is Kaido. Don't screw around. Huh? What? Okay. Now, now. Please save your arguments for the class trial in the meantime. Ta da, the Monokuma file. With this, you can even investigate up Mew's asshole. I hope you have info on that. That would be interesting if you had info on that. Huh? Even there? Are you interested, Monotaro? Are you interested? Now, well, then, do your best. I'm certain you guys make a turn of events very inter uh, entertaining. Asshole! Yay! Daddy! Daddy seems to be really enjoying that dirty word. Mommy! Mommy! Yeah. Okay, everyone, let's do this. Find the culprit this time, no matter what. Hey! Why are you being so cheery about this? What? Well, what are you sad about? You guys hated her. Not as much as you hate me, but still. Stop it! That's not the issue. Of course, I thought she was loud and annoying, but I, mean... I never wanted her to die. I want us all to escape here together. Yes. He was clearly, uh, certainly brash and spirited, but she wasn't a bad person. Listen closely. Believe me, I had her perform maintenance on my body, so I, I know, I know very well. <laughs> Uh, I don't want to cry, but I can't. Shouldn't have had Mio install a crying function. I should have had a Mio install a crying function. Oh, one of your tears caused you to short circuit. No. Not at all. My body's completely waterproof. Oh, this isn't the time for that. <laughs> oh, Gonta, no can forgive this. Gonta, never forgive this. Never forgive culprit either. Gonta, Gonta never forgive self. Gonta swear to protect everyone, but Gonta failed to protect Mio. Gonta don't protect anyone again. Gonta's says failure, gentlemen. Hmm. I am so fucking tired of this awful feeling. I have to do something. I can't let Shuichi. this. Shuichi! Shuichi, don't carry the burden all by yourself. Uh -huh. huh? Listen up. You're my side gang. Don't forget. Yeah. We're gonna do it together. If we work together, we can solve this. Ah. No way, Jose. What? What? Wait, wait, what? Well, you know. Shuichi's the most reliable person in a class trial, you know. Why would we let such an important person to work together with a suspect like you? Huh? Suspects? Are you not a suspect too, Kaido? Or, uh, Kukichi? Fuck the case. You're saying that if I were the culprit, Shuichi would hide the truth to protect me. Don't screw around! Bullshit! Don't underestimate Shuichi! Even if he, uh, I was the culprit, he's the type of guy who'd see things through. You remember Kaede, right? Hmm. But remember Kaede's class trial? I mean, he didn't say anything for a while, but... Uh, I think he's past that point. Shut up! He saw that through, didn't he? I believe in Shuichi. Uh, okay. Kaido. <laughs> <laughs> you love to believe, don't you, Kaido? You really don't. But care. that belief can turn against you, especially in this killing game, you know. <sighs> <laughs> I got no idea what you're talking about. I don't get it at all. Fine. If you're gonna get worked up over it, then me and Shuichi won't team up. But. Fine. Don't worry about. Don't worry. It. It's just for now. <laughs> But hearing him say all that, I can't stay quiet. I believe in that you. That said, try to get through this uh, on your own. Clear me a suspicion with your own power. <laughs> <laughs> if you can be cleared. Hmm. Let's see. Honestly, I have zero reason to suspect anyone except Kokichi and Kaido at the moment. Zero reason to suspect anyone else. I'm just looking at them. I'm trying to think one suspicious thing that they've done. And I'm not thinking of anything. I think it has to be one of those two. It has to be one of those two. I don't like this at all. It feels like another one of Kukichi's tricks. Of course, this is kind of what we're talking about. Nothing I say could change his mind. Regardless, there's only one thing I can do. I can't be afraid. I can't get lost now. In order to protect everyone, I have to do something. I have to do something. Investigation starts. First, I should check the Monokuma vial. Honestly, I'd prefer to investigate with Maki, though she seems a bit out of it. Uh huh. Oh, it's interesting because 
Kichi and Maki are definitely my favorite characters. Kaigo's going up in my list, but he still has his, like, uh, moments. Mew is definitely up there. I don't know, again, my uh, classifications for the characters I like the most usually have to do with which ones I find funny, and uh, so, so long as they're not annoying me. Mew was definitely getting more on the annoying side, but I still found her funny enough. I can, I can imagine they killed her here because they thought that her jokes were probably uh, the joke of her being lewd and all that probably could only go so far. Uh, I could easily imagine them making that decision to kill her here just because of that, from the developer's point of view. Body was discovered on the computer room on the fourth floor. The approximate time of death is uh, 6.30 a.m. and there are no external wounds on the body. Hmm. Something to keep in mind is I think... Okay, so... Every previous killer had their lab open, right? So, Kaede had her lab open... Uh, had her lab open... Rumi had her lab open, and Kyo had uh, his lab open at the time. Most of the victims had their labs open at that time as well. Rontaro seems to be an exception. Um, but, um, Tennis Player had his open, uh, Ryoma. And, um, Tenkyo's just had her open, and Angie just had hers. So, yeah. It does seem interesting, at the very least. You sort of imagine it would be someone who hasn't had their... who has had their lab opened. So if I went on that general sort of uh, train of mind, just in terms of patterns uh, for how they're developing the mysteries, I'd almost say that... Kibo would be the most suspicious. And probably the most likely. Then again, almost everyone here has had our lab... Actually, everyone left except Kaido has had has had our lab open, haven't we? So what are we gonna get in the future chapters? Are we gonna, like, stop getting new ones just because, like, I guess we can get Kaido's if he's still alive after this? Huh. Maybe at this point it's like everyone's suspicious because everyone's had their stuff open in terms of that general logic. Hmm. No external wounds killed around 6.30 in the morning. Okay. The time of death happened 30 minutes before now, while we are still in the virtual world. Um. Hmm, Kokichi, what do you mean? Uh, what do you want? Ah. You don't have to be wary of me. It's not like I'm gonna get in your way, Shuichi. Um. I just, I hate lies so much that I tend to suspect others a lot. Kind of said that he wouldn't team up with you for this case, but I can't trust those so words. That means... That's why I'm keeping an eye out, just in case he tries to bother uh, you. Um, keeping an eye out? It's true! Don't take it the wrong way, though. I'm not trying to replace Kaido as your partner, okay? I mean, if you did this, Kokichi. Oh yeah, Kokichi hasn't had his opened either, never mind. Kokichi and Kaido both haven't, and they're the most suspicious ones. So I feel as though they're the most suspicious and the most obvious ones that possibly have done it. They probably not have done it, so it's... I'm gonna say right now, I, 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 if I had to take a guess absolutely based on everything I know, who's suspicious, who's not, what I know about the patterns and everything happening, I'd say Kibo is the one who did it. Because I can't imagine going to doing it. Kimiko's had too much character development, doesn't seem to have any reason to do this at the moment. Sumugi might have, but she's also was with me, so I sort of doubt that. Maki does not seem like the type to have done this. She's a bit out of it, but maybe I should talk to her before I say that. But then Kibo has had some interaction with Miu, so it seems possible at the very least. And because he's a robot, it's hard to tell exactly how he'd interact with the virtual reality stuff if it's, you know, would interact exactly the same as all the other rules that we have. But in terms of Kokichi here, trying to take uh, the partner aspect of it, it's almost like if he was suspicious and he did it, I would, if I was in his situation, I would try to manipulate the uh, lead investigator, which was Shuichi. I'd try to manipulate him to only find the clues I wanted him to find and not the other stuff. So, but I'll help you as much as I can. So, where are we going to investigate now? Probably here. What is he up to? Why is he following me? Might have come file four, it's been added. Okay. Magi! Maki's working in the computer, her hands moving the mouse around rapidly. Um, you know how to work that computer, Maki? Nope. No, not really. I've never used this program before either. Hmm. I see. I imagine that would be difficult to understand unless you were an expert. Well... But I did find the text file regarding this program. So is it like, release notes, a readme, or something like that? It has info about the program's basic features, but other than that, there's not much. Oh, oh so what did it say? Ah. If you don't want to tell me, then at least tell it to Shuichi. <sighs> According to the text file, 
The killing game simulator uses a certain program as its base. It's called the Neo World Program. Mm. Neo World Program? Hmm. Never heard of it. Well. Hmm. In this killing game simulator, objects can't break. Body's five senses are connected to your avatar, and your avatar cannot be harmed. Any damage inflicted on your avatar will be transferred to your body in the real world. That matches what Miu told us. Well, you said damage specifically. We are sort of assuming that no damage can be done to your real body. I mean, it's not like you could actually create a bruise on your real body through virtual reality. You just sort of think that you would have. That's true. If your avatar receives fatal damage, and your real body will die from shock. Huh? From shock. Oh. Ooh, this is the first time we've heard about this. So that is possible. If someone receives a fatal injury in the virtual world, they'll die in the real world. Hmm. Well, your five senses are connected, so it makes sense you feel the same amount of pain. Right? So it wouldn't be so surprising if you died from the fatal injury. Oh, the more important question is, why do Mew keep such an important detail a secret? That is strange. I have no idea why she wouldn't mention such an important detail. The most likely situation I can imagine is if she wasn't actually in the real world and someone else was controlling it. Maybe that card key revealed like an access to like an AI program that maybe Kokichi used in order to uh, actively use like a made-up Mew that wasn't re really Mew and said what he wanted her to say. Maybe. Or maybe she just wanted everyone to live there and didn't want to reveal the detail that could actually lead to someone dying. Hmm. It could just be a matter of saying, oh, uh, avoiding the information that would uh, demotivate people from being part of it. She did talk about that whole regret it thing. She was acting also really fucking weird. Hard to tell. Why did she hide that from us on purpose? Hmm. Well. That's all it says about the virtual uh, world's basic features. The rest of the virtual world is the same as the real world, including the laws of physics. Warps and special transportation, like mounts, do not exist. Oh, look at look at you using like MMO terminology. I see. So you can only move around by using your avatar. How boring. She should have added warps and mounts to the virtual world. <sighs> That's all it says in the text file. Thank you. Thank you, Maggie. That was very helpful. Killing Game Simulator has been added to the Truth Bullet section but... of your minibin. But is the info in the text file correct? What are you talking about? What do you mean? Nuh -uh. well, I'm not doubting you or anything, Maggie, but I'm just saying the file could have been rewritten. Is it possible that someone rewrote the original uh, info or the false info you know? But... but to determine that, you would need to ex uh, extensive knowledge of computers. It's my time to shine! It's like a... This looks... This looks like a job for me. Wait, Monotaro, why would you be helpful? What? <laughs> Huh? Stop it. Hmm. Don't get in our way, please. Mm. I won't get in the way. In fact, I want you to let me help with the investigation. Hey. Help with the investigation, Monotaro. What are you saying? Hey. Come on, please. Won't you let me help with the investigation? Oh, do you want to find me as killer? Ever since I'm uh, ever since I forgot I'm bad with computers, I'm good with computers now. What are you talking about? That logic does not make any sense no whatsoever. Way. Yeah, Monotaro. I'm not allowed to help the participants. This mascot, we gotta stick to that rule. I don't care. I don't give a fart about the rules. I want to help everyone. I want to avenge my dead mummy. Huh? Your mummy? You mean Miu? Not that. No, Monotaro, you've forgotten all again. You've forgotten that she's not our mother. I want you. And you've forgotten about the important person you need to protect. <laughs> Shut up, you pig. I'm busy avenging mommy's death. The important person you need to protect? <laughs> huh? Uh, no, I'm sad, but it looks like this is goodbye. I love you, but there's someone I need to protect. Goodbye. Huh? So long. Farewell. Huh? Um. Alrighty then, let's do this. Huh? Do what? So what? I don't care either way. If you want to help, then that's fine. Hmm. True, I suppose, but. Thanks. Thanks. I do my best for mommy's sake. No. Wait, perhaps we shouldn't. <laughs> He's doing his best for his dead mommy. I'm so such. <laughs> okay. All right, fine. I'll leave it to you then. I suppose I have no choice. All right. All righty. I'll start analyzing the computer right away. Okay. Yeah! This stinky little computer is no match for my hands. That's not how computers work, but okay. Yeah. His hands are going at such an intense speed that the friction is creating fire! Well, that's weird. Alright! I've already analyzed a few things. Huh? Already? Okay. The text file is consistent with the original program. It doesn't look like it was altered. Yay! Also, I found this too. Is this? Hmm, this looks like the information when everyone logged out and in. Okay! 
There's no sign that it was altered either. It's definitely accurate information. Hey! Could you show it to me? Okay, what do we got? Da, 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 da. Log in, log in, log in. Everyone log in. Maki logged in like a minute later. Mila logs in surprisingly late. That seems consistent at the very least. Hmm. Gotta log in. So there's no sign of... Interesting. There's no sign of Mew. I guess Kaido did log out. There's no sign of Mew logging out, so that's fine. It really does uh, have everyone's login and log out no. times recorded. Aside from, aside from Mew, everyone has logged in and out once. You're right. And it would appear that no one's really logged out and logged back in. Then my main concern becomes Kaido. He logs out ahead of us. But if anything, if she was killed in that world and died from shock, but at the same time, it doesn't look like she died from shock. It looks like she was legitimately strangled. Hmm. Just like looking at. Um. I need to read her Monokuma file again. Did it say anything about the cause of death? Uh. Da, da, da. That's my time of death. No injuries can be found on the victim's body. Okay, so it just sort of looked like that. There wasn't actually any injuries. I didn't read that carefully and remember it properly. Cattle locked out ahead of us. If anything, that sort of like leaves him off the hook. If he was out, uh, if he was locked out at the time, that means it would be impossible for him. Hmm. No, it couldn't be him. Um. Also, there's something else I noticed while I was analyzing the program. So. Looks like some parts of the program were rewritten. Huh? The program's been rewritten by Mio, I presume. Oh. Obviously, Mio was the only person capable of doing that. Hey, hey. So, which files did she rewrite, and what did she change? Okay. I'll analyze them, of course, but it's gonna take a little time. Yeah. Well, as long as it's done by the class trial, then Shuichi will be able to avenge Miyu. He's just saying whatever he pleases. All right! All right. I keep on analyzing crap out of this program. <laughs> uh -huh. You're so reliable. That's true. Hmm. Yeah, way more than you. Okay. Hmm. This is the vice we wore on our heads to enter the virtual world. Some helmets still have the cords plugged in, others have them removed. Hmm. Possibly you're unplugged after logging out. For what, yours? Ours? That's it, the cords. We were supposed to plug in the two cords from the computer into our helmets. Uh, red for consciousness, blue for memory. If we get this mixed up, who the fuck knows what would happen? Hmm, I guess that is a big question. Should we check that? See what happens? Out of curiosity, what happens if you switch the core? Don't know. Don't know. Vegetables, switch bodies. A glitch. Device instructions have been added to the truth bullets of your uh, monoped. Should we test it? I feel as though it would be a good idea to test it. Mia's hands are clasped around her neck as if she were gasping for air. Or she thought she was gasping for air. Kokichi talking about strangulation makes them super goddamn fucking suspicious. Uh, her eyes are wide open in panic. She must have suffered quite a bit. You know, Kikichi, if you wanted me on your side, you should have done it wow. well before, right before uh, the point when I would have suspected you big motherfucking time. You, that is one grody face. We must have suffered a lot. <laughs> <laughs> a vulgar death is uh, fit for a vulgar bitch. Come on, man. I I, I shipped you with her, man. I shipped hey. you with her, man. Stop, Kokichi. Even if you're joking, that's too far. You're right. You should never speak ill of the dead, no matter how much you hated them. Right. Even if she was despised, pathetic, dirty, cum toilet of a person. I suppose I'll never get Kokichi to change. What? But what's Kiyo's, uh, Mia's cause of death? It doesn't say in the Monokuma file. Um, um, may I? I want something you know that, uh, just in case it turns out to be a clue. By the way. Um, I was the first one to log out and find Mia's body. She's still wearing the helmet and her body was contorted into this awful position. After, uh, Maki logs out after I did and she helped me take off Mia's helmet. <laughs> and then she was gone. Hey, hey. Oh, is that a confession? Why? How is that a confession? Anyway, the question of the cause of death, what caused her to suffer like this? Hmm. Mia's corpse has been added to the truth bullet section of your mono bin. Oh, that's all we get. Hmm. Anything else to All the visors? Some of the visors, maybe? Hmm. A small bottle. There's something on the seat. That was where Kokichi was sitting, wasn't it? Or maybe... Yeah, yeah. There's a small bottle. I feel as though I've seen this before. Oh, oh this is your... Uh, this is yours, right, Shuiji? Huh? Why? 
in there. Hmm. I forgot about the poison. Um, no, I guess it's not yours, but it's from your lab. Oh, oh that's right. This was in the ultimate detective's lab. Right? Yeah, it's that poison. Hmm. So you know about this, Gokichi. <laughs> it was on your seat. Of course, because I already checked it. We're in a killing game, you know. If there's poison and tricks prepared, then of course I'm going to investigate them ASAP. That's... Is that? Um, oh, it's not so I can use them. I check them in case someone else uses them. Is that really true? By the way. Oh, by the way, did you see the label on the back of this bottle? Huh? The label. Um, According to the warnings here, this poison is pretty lethal. It becomes neutralized once it's mixed, so it has to be taken directly. But when it's taken directly, the victim will die immediately, even if they sip only a little bit. Which means if you get the victim's mouth open, you could kill them instantly. It was in Kokichi's chair, which makes him more suspicious, which would be weird. But at the same time, it seems to almost be setting up the idea that Kaido had to have done it, right? Because he's the only one out here when to have been able to do that. It does sort of make sense if she was poisoned, that it could uh, result in... Actually, knows it, knowing the cause of death would make this way too easy. Or it would make some things way too obvious, at the very least. Maybe not the exact killer. Hmm... I can't imagine a better method of killing someone who's logged in. By the way, by the way, I should tell you what symptoms the poison causes. It causes a small blood vessel in the conjunctiva to explode, which makes the whites of your eyes turn blood red. Bloodshot eyes, that's important information. Um. So I should check me. Well, that's everything about this poison. <laughs> <laughs> Am I doing a job? Maybe it's time you acknowledge me as your partner. I thought you didn't want to be my partner. No. I thought you... I thought I remember you saying that you didn't want to be my partner. Huh, did I? Sometimes I lie without thinking about it. Huh? Seriously. Anyway. Anyway, who brought this poison? You think the culprit did it? I think you did. It's in your chair. Who brought the poison? I can't be careful, uh, certain yet. But I do know that the poison was left on that person's chair. Yeah. A small bottle of poison and added to the truthful section of your monopad. Why do I address this now? You have an excuse, Gogiji. Hmm. Mm, nothing about bloodshot eyes. Mm, okay, guess not. From the time of death, uh, from the time of death in the Kingdom of Akuma file, me and Skill Bar in the virtual world. Okay. Kyle's just been standing here all happy, like, yeah, I didn't do it. I definitely didn't do That's it. That's right. Shuichi, Shuichi, I gotta explain, just so you don't uh, uh, misunderstand. Um, explain what? Ah. Talking about how you logged out by yourself, right? <laughs> okay, let's hear it. What? Why are you? Yeah. Feel free to lie, of course. Exposing lies is the real pleasure of this game, after all. Ooh, I wonder, I wonder, I wonder if you spoke someone else's name into the um phone if it would log them out. Hmm. hmm. Don't screw around. Hmm? What? Hey. Kato, just ignore him and talk to me, okay? I mean About the about the whole logging out thing. I don't really get it myself. When I was looking for the secret outside the uh of the outside world on the rooftop, the circle lit up under me. I suddenly sucked in, and before I knew it, I was logged out. And the same thing happened when I used the phone to log out. How did that happen on the roof? Uh, um... And what happened if you logged out? So... Everyone else was so logged in, but I didn't know if it was okay for me to log back in. So I just went back to my room and slept. Since it was dawn, I was pretty tired. Um... And the body discovery announcement woke you. Okay... Yeah, that's right. I heard it and I rushed back here. Hey. Do you remember uh, what condition Mia's body is when, uh, was in when he logged out? Not bad. No, I didn't pay attention to that, so I don't know. I didn't even notice anything was wrong, like whether she was dead or not. Shut up! Like I said, I don't know. Ah. Okay, sorry. I just need to object to the contradic uh, contradiction in that testimony, right? You have to say, no, you're wrong. Don't screw around! I said I'm not lying. Tell him, Shuichi. Shuichi! No, Shuichi, in order to find the truth, you can't be biased. Hmm... Kokichi seems to be pushing me super hard to suspect Kaido. The poison, so blatantly picked up by Kokichi, put in his left in his chair. Seems like that would be really... It seems like that would be really... How do I say it? It, it, it just seems so suspicious. The fact that he's like trying to to take away Kaido's influence on me during all this, be directing me around as my quote-unquote partner. The strangulation part of it, too. 
Or maybe he just knows who killed. And he's just like playing around and trying to direct me towards incorrect or wrong ones to make it more interesting because it would be too obvious if I uh, if he didn't. But then again, he would have had to bring the poison beforehand. How did the car key work into it too? Hmm. It's not like people haven't made these more purposely difficult, on, just on purpose, in order to make these more difficult and more interesting. That's not something uh, that ha that has happened in the series before. Hmm. Hey, but hey, Kibo, my true number one suspect at the moment. How are you doing? Um. Especially since he has normal strength in that world, right? He's not weak like he is out here. I've been wondering, what was the secret of the outside world we were searching for, anyways? That's true. I got sidetracked by uh, Mew's murder case. We never discovered what the secret actually was. Mm. We didn't find anything at the chapel, and we found nothing at the mansion, right? Okay. No, Sumugi uh, and I. Did, Sumugi and me didn't find anything. My bad. And I didn't find anything. I didn't find anything either. That's probably the same with Kaido and Gonta too, right? Right. And knowing them, if they had found something, they would have told us right away. Yeah, yeah they would have, unlike you. Whoa. Wow, Shuichi, did you hear that? The robot's being sassy with me. That's so mean. Uh, didn't you know? Robots need don't need warm blood to function, so they can become cold like this. That's why he's more concerned about the secret of the outside world than for me. <laughs> he told us he couldn't cry even when he wanted to. He went so far as to stage his dramatic reaction. That's wrong. That's not true. I hope we can discover the truth too. Oh. Pretty, you're a pretty advanced robot. You can be sassy and make excuses. <laughs> what could the card key possibly have done? Maybe it gave him like administrator privileges in that world? Hmm. I don't remember ever finding an area that that would actually be useful to use in, though. Hmm. Like I thought. It ended up like this after all. I have a bad feeling ever since I thought uh, I saw Mio at the dining room window. When was that? How, uh... That wasn't too far off. Hmm. It does make me feel as though there might be a loading zone. Um, that the chapel, like all the inside rooms might share the same loading zone. Because that wasn't uncommon in games. With shared maps and loading maps like that. Where you'd put a bunch of the inside stuff like on the same map. You just transfer people to different areas. And because you can't really see beyond the camera, you won't be able to see... Uh, the other rooms because the camera just doesn't go far enough. Hmm. Mm -hmm. You thought you saw Miu? <gasps> yeah, I told Shuichi about it. Yeah, when was that? Yep. Not even a flashback color. Damn. Oh, oh so you saw Miu then? Um, I thought it must have been a mis I must have been mistaken since she should have been at the chapel. <laughs> oh, so you're only saying you were mistaken? Huh, so you don't have to feel as guilty. What? I'm also curious about the whole fact that... You know, if you get swept by the river, I wonder if you'd be able to go to that rock and then come over. And then, well, you wouldn't have been able to get back over to the chapel. Hmm. Because? If you had been positive it was Mio, then you could have done something sooner. You could have prevented her death, you know. <laughs> That's... God, you're just... You're fucking with everyone right now, man. Hey! That's just speculation, Kyoji. You can't judge in hindsight. My bad. Oh, we went a little off topic there. Anyway, I want to ask you something. What did you do after you thought you saw Miu? Um, um, I thought I was mistaken, but it really bothered me, so... About ten minutes later, I told Shuichi, and while we were talking about it... That's when that all happened. Yeah, why was it a bang? We said it sounded like someone falling off the rooftop. Hmm... I'd like to go investigate that chapel to see if anything happened. We hear Kiba's voice... And we heard, um... Because we clearly heard Kiba's voice. And we heard that. It almost makes, makes me feel as though something happened in the chapel and is a loading zone thing. And we just happen to be able to hear people. Because of the loading zone, probably. Hmm... I'm not sure, but... That seems weirdly likely. I'm, I don't really have another explanation as to why we were able to hear all that. And the fact that they were all still on the other side, and Miu's body was still on the other side, as Maki and Kiva were saying. We heard a loud noise and rushed out to the entrance hall. Uh, yep. Yeah. yeah, we heard Kibo. A big question here is also, how does that glitch manifest? Hmm. Kibo's voice, huh? Wasn't he at the chapel? Okay. He was, but Sumugi and I were positive that we heard the voice, so... We were keeping from the entrance hall when he should have been at the chapel. 
What? That's weird, because you wouldn't be able to hear anything between the chapel and the mansion. Even Mew said that. Uh... Have to load back to this every... Okay. Yeah, I can hear anything while you're inside the map loading point. Well, I thought she meant while you're in the loading point. I suppose that what you're saying is you can't hear or see anything that's in the other side. Hmm. In different maps, basically. So technically, we are in the same map? That would be the requirement to hear him, right? You're right. I, uh, the sound shouldn't reach through the map loading point. So how did we hear Kiba's voice? How were we able to uh, hear Kiba at the mansion if he was at the chapel? Well, Maybe someone's lying. What? Lying? Hmm. Hey. By the way, Yuichi, did you hear the loud noise or Kiba's voice at all? Ah. Uh, I'm not sure. I must have not noticed because I was too busy searching. <gasps> You're lying to his face. Kaido. Hey. Hey, Kaido, keep intruding at me when I talk. Do you like me or something? I, I, I'll totally go for that. We can get some fan fiction going, Don't you know. Who would like you, dumbass? I was interested in Shuichi's conversation. <laughs> My conversation? Ah. You heard Kiba's voice when it should have been impossible. Can you tell me more about that? <laughs> well, what I said before was pretty much everything. After that, we headed back to the chapel to see what happened. Uh, um... uh, we saw Konsa as we left the man. Uh, we saw Konsa as we left the mansion, and the three of us went to the river together. That's when we met up with Gokichi. Yeah. And then we used the signboard that I found as a bridge. What about it, though? Did he notice anything? I suppose not. Right. I see you're working hard. It looks like you're starting to take this game seriously, Kaido. Shut up! Sh shut up! Oh my. Yeah, loud noise is important. Keep his voice. We're not, uh, I guess it's probably, uh, keep his voice as part of the other stuff. Himiko, what happened over at the chapel? What can you tell me? I never thought Mio would be killed. When I saw her avatar there not moving, I thought maybe, but... Right. That's right. You saw Mio's avatar in the virtual world, it stopped moving. Mm. Me, Kibo, and Maki all found her avatar. Hey. Can you tell me anything about that? Any details? Hey. We're looking for the secret of the outside world of the hey. chapel. Mio was too, right? No. no, Mio volunteered to look around the outside of the chapel, so she wasn't with us. Mio volunteered to look around outside. We searched, but we couldn't find anything. And right when we were starting to get tired, all of a sudden we heard a really loud sound outside. Huh. That must be the sound I heard as well. Something must have hit the wall of the chapel really hard. We felt it all the way from inside. Something hitting the chapel wall. But outside and inside buildings are different loading zones, right? I mean, you said it directly, that it's basically like rooms inside a building. Going inside a building is like uh, that. Maybe they're giving you information from the outside. Makes me wonder how Sumugi could have heard, like, like basic information even with your eyes if you're looking at the window. If you see the outside, it probably doesn't load the different stuff that's going on in there. Logically, that's how it seems like it should work in this case. Like at least how um, Mew described it. Makes me wonder how she could have seen Mew outside. Hmm. Hmm. So we all rushed outside to check uh, uh, to the side of the chapel and we found Mew's uh, avatar. Um. Uh, that's when you went to a log out to check Mew's real body, correct? Uh, but when we went to the river, the bridge was gone for some... Yeah, because Mew did her stupid shit from earlier. Um. Uh, it's the chapel wall. We all rushed outside to check the side of the chapel and we found Mew's avatar. Was it moving? Uh, gone for some reason. Oh, and then while we were standing around wondering what to do, you guys thank showed you. up. I see, thank you. Oh. That testimony sounded important, especially about how they couldn't cross the river. Because? Because if, uh, if they weren't able to cross, then no one could have gone between the mansion and the chapel. <laughs> and this could uh, help us narrow down the people who could have come into contact with Miu. Who could have come into the contact with Miu at the chapel? Hmm... Well, Kokichi knew where the signboard was, so that doesn't rule out the possibility that he was able to pass uh, back and forth between them. Hmm. Event of the chapel has been added to the two bullets. Okay. Uh, anything more, Gonta? Hey! Gonta, are you alright? You're so dumb. Are you so depressed about me? Come on, don't be such a Debbie Downer. 
By the way. Oh, Gonta, I want you to know what you think. Rare, I know, but what do you think? Oh, who do you think the culprit is? It's gotta be Kaido, right? Gonta Definitely Kaido. Don't know. Gonta not know. Where'd already happen when Gonta wake up? How this happened? Why'd this happen? Why Mio killed? Man, Gonza is gonna be so useless in this class trial. He doesn't even get the idea of a virtual world properly, so logic, like doing any sort of a logic and stuff, is not going to help. It's gonna be hard to convince him what actually happened, too. Gonza not understand. Gonza not understand anything. But Gonza frustrated and sad. Gonza no can protect Miu. He seems all over the place right now. Aw, oh, man, he can't think at all when he's like this. It's true. But Gonza doesn't seem to be a lying. I'm pretty sure he's telling us the truth. Well, I guess uh, big dum dum like uh, Gonza doesn't have the brains to lie in the first place. Hey. Don't talk about him like that. I'm, I'm so disappointed in you, Gonta. When I first met you, I thought you'd be more useful. Sorry. Uh, sorry. Gonta, oh my. Gonta's so sorry. Gonta knows. Gonta's sorry he can no protect me, you. Gonta, it's okay, man. You gotta stop beating yourself up over this stuff. Hey! If you feel that bad about it, then stop blaming yourself. Help us find the culprit instead. This is the culprit's fault anyway, so put yourself up. Put yourself together and help us, okay? Mm. Okay. Gonza understands. Gonza do his best. Gonza do his best to find Culprit. Gonza definitely do his best this yeah. time. Yep, now that's the spirit. Now Kikichi's encouraging him. Hmm. I really don't know what Kikichi's thinking. I mean, more people working against his potential involvement probably won't help. Or maybe he does just want to make things more interesting, making a more complicated case and allowing people opportunity, but he still wants it to be solved. So that's why he's encouraging people. I suppose I've investigated everything that I can here. Are you done investigating the crime scene? Oh, so you know who the culprit is no. yet? Ah, no, that might not actually be the crime scene. Yes, the injuries in the virtual world could be fatal in the real world. Meaning there, could, there is the possibility that she was killed in the virtual world. Which means the next area to investigate should be... In fact, the fact that she was killed outside of the chapel. Or she seems to have been killed outside of the chapel. As long as everyone was fully aware of everyone in the chapel still being there at the time, then at the very least, that seems to take them off the list of suspects. More likely someone at the mansion. Seems more likely that uh, the issue has less to do with, um... More and more, it's seeming like Kokichi. I, more and more seems to point to that. Everything, every time I think about something, every time I can put together any sort of logical um, combination of this evidence, it seems to point towards, uh, towards Kokichi. Oh, I see. The virtual world. Well, we should go there again. Uh -huh. Hmm? See? I just read your mind, didn't I? I did, right, right, right? If that's the case, I'm coming too. Oh, oh great, he's coming. You he must really like me, huh? I'll totally go and ship uh, ship us together in some fan fiction. I'll even write it, you know? Yeah. Ugh, say whatever you want. I don't have time to waste on you or your yeah. fan fiction. If we go back to the virtual world, we might find some new clues. As long as I might be able to clear my name. Um, May I join you as well? Mm, why? I also think we should investigate the virtual world again. All right. Why don't we all go? Ah. No, oh, so I get to be that avatar again? Huh? Did he actually like that avatar after mm. all? I'm going to stay here. He's still in the middle of analyzing the program. Mm. Go to search this place some more. There's no time to be sleeping. Uh. That's not what we're... Well, oh, oh well, okay, that's fine. <laughs> then I'll stay here too. Huh? What? Hmm? Hmm? Surprise. Are you going to get lonely without your partner? My bad. But I'm busy too, you know. Uh, I have to watch Maki in case she tries to do anything deceitful. Uh. Deceitful. See? Well, you and Kaido are pretty close, so you might do something deceitful for him, right? <sighs> goodness. Good thing Gonza's here with me. Your glare's too scary to handle alone. Gonza would risk his life to protect me from a murderer, right? Hmm? Hey! Hey, if you keep saying messed up crap like that, I'm gonna kick your ass into orbit. I'm right already. It's fine, just ignore him and hurry to the virtual uh, world. Okay. Kaido, let's just focus on solving the case for <laughs> now. <sighs> fine. Dang. Goodness. Thank God, I don't like violence. The Ultimate Supreme Leader would rather sneak around. So that means... Yeah, you're definitely a rogue. So anyway, I'll leave the virtual world to you, Shuichi. Fine. Yeah. But I'm not exaggerating when I say this class trial can only be solved by you, okay? Hmm. Your talent can save the useless people here, you know. What? Who are you calling useless? I told you. Enough already. Um... I don't... Let's just go. Mm. Gotta keep Himiko Sumugi, and I prepare to enter the virtual world. Let us. Yeah. Everyone's. Yeah. Fix our helmets up again. Uh, same seats. So the red cord goes in the right side, and the blue cord in the left, yeah? Yeah, let's do that. Right is the hand I hold my chopsticks with. I gotta be sure to get it right. 
see, I still have to do that L, like the L with your hands in order to make sure I know exactly which, which one's left and right each time. I, I typically, like, I know which one's left and right. I just have to remind myself because it's not something I remember worried, uh, or think about very frequently. Use one that's already set up? We place the devices on our head and flip the switch. And so we return. Hmm. Okay. I really wish I could just like go on Bishuichi right now and test some of the random thoughts I had. Great, huh? Oh, look, it's my avatar. Look, my avatar. So you liked it after all? You know. So we're back here. One hundred percent. Apparently, we always arrive in this room after we log in. You said that logging in and out is impossible unless we're in this room. Hmm. Huh? Then how did I get logged out when I was on the rooftop? Okay. Yeah, we need to investigate that area what too. What should we do? First, we need to go check on Mia's avatar, That's right? right? I think her avatar is still near, uh, near the chapel. Yeah. Then let's head out to the chapel. Yay. Hmm. I really wish I could just like... The one thing that I'm sort of disappointed in... Uh, this is probably just part of the writing and how they want to unveil the mystery. But there's no experimentation for ideas. Suichi just sort of does whatever he finds. It's like, eh, what could that mean? What could that mean? What could that mean? He never tests out ideas. Like, uh, the idea that maybe if you say someone else's name into it, you will log out someone else, maybe? Just like checking that would be so easy. Ah, I should check the map before heading to the shop. I should. Okay. Uh... Okay, and we have windows. Uh, first floor has that, that, that split in secret outside. Kuchi has the salon, to me at the dining room, we got the roof, go to the outside. Okay, go to the outside. I, I actually did not remember that uh, correctly. On the rooftop. Hmm. What does it actually say? This is the map of the entire virtual world. Virtual world sound about all four directions. Loading point in the middle. So the map is split into two. No sight or sound can pass through the map loading point. To get the, uh, from the mansion to the chapel, you have to go through this point. You also have to uh, cross the river that runs parallel to it. So that's how this world is designed. It's strange. I feel as though there's some secret to this. Kibu could have said the oh no or whatever it was when um they got across and was like no there's no bridge. Oh, the world has been added. Huh. This map is made by Mew. Is that what's bothering me? Hey, Maybe. Suichi. I understand. Looking at maps makes you feel calm, doesn't it? Huh? Huh? Hmm. You're the type of kid who stares at maps alone instead of playing at recess, aren't you? Maps? No. Wait, what? Um, no, I never did anything like that. Shuichi! Don't forget we're here for you, bro. Indeed. You're not alone anymore. Fine. You don't need to withdraw into a shell, you know. Mm. What the? <laughs> I'm so proud of you. You made friends with the real people, not maps. That's what? Wrong. I'm investigating. It's just investigating. Wait, what? Why is everyone blushing? Oh my goodness. I need to investigate that toilet paper. No, I need to investigate the toilet paper. God damn it. Okay, can I check out the toilet paper? That's definitely on the way. Ma, yeah, Kiba, you find the toilet paper? No, oh, Shuichi, could come with me, please? What happened? Uh, what, what happened? Hmm. I found something strange. I don't know if it's relevant to the case, but I'll hear your opinion regardless. I wonder if you could strangle someone with toilet paper. That actually sort of sounds possible if it doesn't break. It's right this way. Hmm. This is toilet paper, right? Why would it be in a place like this? That's right. It's cold here. Huh? Huh? Which means... My initial thought was that someone may have come here to defecate. No. Uh, no, no, I don't think that's it. I don't think avatars have bowel movements. I don't have to go at all. Huh? Ah, I didn't realize that. I, and that, that never occurred to me, as I do not need to expel solid waste in the real world. I'm sorry. Oh. Uh... Wait. But... It's so strange. Why would the paper be in a place like this? 
Can we relate to the case? Hmm. Ah, the toilet paper strangler. How much you want to bet that's how this is gonna go down? Oh. Hey, so isn't the side more that Mio threw into the river? Eh, if you look at the actual flow of the river, it does seem to not logically show up where it should. Makes you feel as though if you go down the river. Oh, yeah, I, I pressed that again. Yeah, yeah, I keep doing that in this world. Whoops, my hand slipped, etc., etc., etc. You know. That was also really weird. You said there's only one of them, no. right? It's definitely the same. I brought back the one that was stuck in the rocks in the river. Ah. Oh, so that's what happened. But. But there's still something bothering me. How did he get there? The rocks on that time were caught weren't on the chapel side of the map. Well, that's irrelevant. Because the water doesn't flow that way anyways. I mean, everything matches off that it came from the other side. They are on the mansion side. What about that bothers you? It just got washed from the chapel to the mansion, right? From the chapel to the mansion, that's on. The flow of the river goes the other way. Shuichi. Hey, think later, bro. Let's get moving. I mean, let's just ignore the obvious, like, random shit going on and... Yeah, okay, fine. Alright, for now we need to investigate the scene. Okay, I mean, it's pretty obvious that... Well... I'm guessing one of the secrets of the map, uh, the whole map thing, is that, uh... I wonder if the blackness... No, I already tried going into the black... Yeah, here we go. Uh, the scene of the crime, with a bunch of stuff here. Uh, the sign, uh, scene of the crime had not been altered since I found her. So... There's no possibility that someone tried to tamper with the crime scene afterwards. So there's no possibility that someone tried to tamper with the crime scene afterwards. Yeah, that's for sure. It's just like how we left it. I'm pretty confident in my memory. <laughs> I memorized a magic spell that would take a whole year just to chant. Oh my goodness. What? If you think I'm lying, I could start the chant right now, you know. Unfortunately. No, thank you. I don't think I could wait a whole year. I work at the class trial. A locked out avatar disappears, but if the real body dies, the avatar remains unchanged. You know, the water has to go somewhere, Actually, so I wonder. Look at all this stuff scattered around. What happened here? Geez. That's what we're uh, that's what we're investigating now. Isn't that right, uh, Luigi? Okay. Right. Hmm. Where's that piece of lattice? Oh, I remember that being in the storage room. Hmm. Yeah, that is a mysterious object. Uh, um, it's a wooden mat. Uh, used to be common in bathrooms. I didn't see anything like this at the chapel. Where did it come from? I found it in this. Not from the chapel, then why is it here? No, I just figured it out with my magic. Huh? You did? I see. Uh, maybe someone used that instead of the signboard across the river. Not a bad idea. <laughs> and that's. Uh, at the same time, that probably. It sounds possible, but at the same time, I don't think the, the lattice rolls up and stuff, right? Does it? I sort of got the impression that they rolled up, but maybe no. not. I don't think so. The river's current is pretty fast. Even if you did use it, there's no reason it would be here. Hmm. Ugh. I know that. I was just testing you a little. Why would you want to test me? Okay. What's that mean? Something like this. Uh, what's something like this doing here? I'm not positive why this lattice is left here, but I'm sure that it has something to do with the case. Okay. This is a hammer. Why would there be a hammer in this world? Yeah, she should have deleted everything that could be used as a weapon. Hmm. Mia said she deleted dangerous objects. I can't imagine why she'd uh, miss a hammer. Is Mia lying? Why would she lie? Hmm. Hmm. Is this a cell phone? There are cell phones in this world. What could they be for? No. Ah, uh, that's it. It's a phone, so... Hmm. A cell phone. I can't believe there's something like this here. <gasps> Ah, got a perfect timing. Like you helped me out something. I just wanted to uh, test something out. Of course. No, help you? Oh, of course. I never say no to a favor for uh, for my sidekick. Thank you. Thank you, Kaido. You know. We're so gonna be shipped together, aren't we? <laughs> so, what do you need me to do? Is that all right? Ah, you don't have to do anything. You just have to stand here and. Hmm? I just gotta stand here. Kaido Momoda. I knew ah, it. he locked out. Okay. Nice. That makes a lot of sense. So, with a cell phone, anyone could have done it anywhere, not just Kokichi in the salon. You see me use the log out, just like the phone in the salon. So, do you still have to be in the same loading zone in order to do that? And someone else can use the name, too. Hmm. 
And this proves that you don't have to be the person themselves, you just have to say their name. Thank you for testing the theory, uh, Suichi. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. You can lock out anyone you like. All right. I see. Thanks for his help. I'm starting to pin this down. Cell phone has been added to the truth boards. Cool. I bet Kaido was pretty surprised when he logged out all of a sudden. Yep. Hmm. I should apologize for that later. Hmm. Uh. I could Sumugi or someone go over to like the uh, a different loading zone and see if I can log you out. I sort of want to test that. Hmm. I knew oh. it. My bad. Mia's avatar is frozen, collapsed in the snow. Long time, avatar disappears, but if the real body remains, the avatar remains. Makes sense for the killing game simulator. The body disappears, we couldn't uh, investigate. The avatars never show injury, so they say it's the same. She still looks almost alive. But... Her face is pretty here. So pretty here, isn't it? It's hard to believe she's dead. Uh, okay. Yeah. Mia's avatar. Hmm. Um... What's wrong, Kibo? Something bothering you? I just remembered something. I think the whispering I overheard might be relevant to this case. Uh, whispering? Um, you heard whispering? Yes. yes, I did not intend to eavesdrop, but I did hear it. Shortly before we gathered at the chapel and dispersed to begin searching... Oh, that? Ah, oh, yeah... You were the closest. It seemed me, uh, Kukuchi and Mio made plans to meet each other. Huh? Meet each other? Yes. Kukuchi was confirming the specific place they were supposed to meet. I couldn't hear the uh, whole conversation, but I'm certain the rooftop was mentioned. And then, and then, those two met on the rooftop, and if, um, Kaido was specifically searching the roof. They would probably want to log him out just in case, you know. Well, it's strange, right? If they're planning to meet on the mansion's rooftop, why didn't Mia volunteer to search the area around the chapel? Probably because she knew how to get between the You're places. Right. That's true. If they were meeting in the roof, uh, she would have wanted to search the mansion. Mm -hmm. Either way, she shouldn't have been able to get to the rooftop. She was searching the area around the chapel, which means, uh, uh, which is where we found her avatar. With no bridge across the river, she could not have gone from the chapel to the mansion. That's true. Something is strange about this. Hmm. Okay, I finished my investigation in this area. Shuichi! Shuichi, it would seem that we're finished investigating this place. Okay. Should we investigate inside the chapel? Yeah, there's something I want to ask. Can our avatars hide objects? Uh, seems you can just put stuff in your clothes here, too. Just like in the real world. Hmm. I see. Just like the real world. Mm -hmm. So, what are we gonna do next? Are we gonna go back to the real world already? Ah, before that, there's one more place I have to investigate. The mansion rooftop. As I thought. Very well, then. Not inside the chapel. Okay, fine. The place me and Crazy were supposed to meet. The place kind of logged down. Positive has something to do with the case. There should be clues there, too. Uh... I don't really get it, but if you want to investigate, then let's go do that, Shuichi. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you're right. Okay. Um. Shuichi, everyone's counting on you, including myself. Shuichi. Please give the last trial everything you've got, and see you through to the end. Why are you? All right, I'll do my best as, uh, as well, of course. Uh. And I as well. Can at least do that. And I'm a detective after all. Huh. Shuichi. Hey, Shuichi. What's that all about? Sorry. Ah, uh, Kaido, I'm so sorry. I just want to see if I could log you out using the cell phone. Jeez. Then tell me first, that was bad for my heart. I suddenly got logged out, I panic and rush back here. Okay. Uh, uh, sorry. Stop it. Come on now, that's enough. Don't interfere with the investigation. No. I wasn't interfering. Wait, why didn't you guys come back here? Did you already finish investigating? Uh, um, I want to investigate the rooftop next. Hmm? Huh? What's important about the rooftop? Was it me at the chapel the whole time? We found her in the ground next to it. Um... <gasps> Now, now, let's believe in Shuichi's reasoning. What is my reasoning, though? It'll be okay. Shuichi can do it for sure. He's the ultimate detective, after all. Hmm. Uh, if you're gonna be like that, then do what you want. Investigate the rooftop or whatever. Shuichi's my sidekick. In other words, his deductions are my deductions. And my deductions are his. Hey, uh, what are you, some credit-stealing bully? Hey. Well, I'm gonna investigate Mia's avatar since I got interrupted last sorry. time. Uh, sorry. See if we can find any new information. Well, then, let's go to the rooftop. Yeah, yeah we should. Hmm. Alright, all these loading zones going up. Uh, it feels like this is important, the fact that there's so many stairs to get up here. 
Me and Kuki T were supposed to meet on this very rooftop. And the person in charge of searching this area kind of was forcibly locked out. This area must have something to do with the case. Okay, first things first. Okay, so the lab is still here. It, hmm. Storage room. A little different from how I remember. Feels as if something is missing. Was that on, the lattice on the ground? Feels as if something is missing. And I wasn't paying close attention the first time, so I don't remember. Ah, uh, he specifically mentioned lattice, but okay. Okay, man. Okay. Uh, might not be directly connected to the case, but I should inspect the binoculars. I can see the buildings on top of a hill. Uh, I can see past this point because the map loading point. Well, that is strange. Why the map loading point be right in the middle of this world? Hmm. Something doesn't seem right. Hmm. Are you saying you got flipped or something? Um. Kibo, did you find anything? Hmm. hmm. This is difficult. There's nothing here that seems to resemble a clue. But Mia shouldn't have been a should have arranged the meeting with Yokichi here. I thought we could at least confirm whether or not she came to the rooftop. Unfortunately, there are no clues which indicate that. But even if you fell off the side, let's say you fell off the side of this um uh, mansion here, and you came tumbling down, I wonder if that would result... Because it wouldn't leave any marks in the snow. We already established that. Did Mio ever come to the roof? That is an important question. Hey, hey Kibo, I want your opinion on something. Do you think you could get up and down from this rooftop outside the mansion? Well. No, that would have been very difficult. Its rooftop is rather high. Even the edge of the roof is roughly the height of a three or four story building. Yeah, there were all those right. stairs after all. Yeah, certainly too high to jump. As I thought. Which means it would have been impossible to climb from the outside. Unless you can manipulate loading zones somehow. I mean, it's the only way to this rooftop is the stairs. Uh, maybe the stairs are in like the same loading zone and you can somehow get in between them. Hmm. Hmm. It's a Mugi. Ah, I see. Hey. What's wrong, Samugi? Hey. Uh, look at the door knob. Uh, door knob, it's locked. Ah, ah, it's a turn. It's a thumb turn lock. Easy to lock. What? It seems you can't lock it unless you're on the outside. And look, the keyhole on the this side of the door. Isn't this usually the other way around? No. Not necessarily. I've seen this before. To prevent yourself, uh, to prevent you from locking yourself out. I see. Hmm. Is that so? The rooftop has a lock in the door, but. That is important information. As I've inspected everything here, all this stuff now is... Maki became running. Did something happen? <sighs> oh, there you are. I was looking for you. Huh? Uh, Maki, why are you here? I thought you were analyzing the program. I told you. Manotaro finished analyzing the program, so he told me to gather everyone. Hmm. You finished? Shuichi. That's good. We should probably head back then. Our investigation here is pretty much done, right? Okay. Yeah, you're right. I've investigated everything I need to. Shuichi! Well then, we'll head back. Uh, we'll head back first. I don't wanna. Oh, I don't wanna. I wanna say goodbye to my avatar. <sighs> Do you like it that much? Why? What about it is yeah. actually positive? We should probably go to... Maggie? Hey! What's wrong? You. Well, you're definitely more reliable in a class trial than out. Okay. What, are you saying I'm not reliable in the investigation? All the others think so too. Right? They have been sort of fawning over me recently. Huh? Why? Well... I'm not trying to sound like Kaido, but I don't think you should carry all the burden alone. You're Shuichi Saihara before you're a detective. Don't ever forget that. <sighs> uh, I shouldn't be talking. I threw away my identities, Maki, uh, Maki Arakawa, to be an assassin. Thank you. Thank you, Maki. Ha 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 ha. Uh... Was she being considerate just now? Okay. Uh, um. Yeah, it's just you and me. We should log out too. By the way. By the way, did something happen between you and Kaido? Huh? Oh, what? Well. When he logged out a little while ago, he looked like he was in a bad mood. Sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. That was probably my fault. What? Are Are you gonna be well. mad at me that I made Kaido mad? I don't know what happened between you and Kaido, but that it is simple. So I'm sure he'd forgive you if you just apologize. Yeah, smile and blush when you say that. Oh my. Uh, I probably won't. Um, Shuichi Sahara. And Maki's gonna be the last one to get out. Okay. Oh, that's a good sign. Ah, the blackness. 
Okay, no one's dead. I pulled off the device off my head and the real world appeared before me. Whenever you just have that black screen and you actually have text, it's like, oh shit, someone's about to die, someone's about to die. Shuichi. Well, Shuichi, isn't the real world way better than some virtual reality one? Hmm. Anyway, I felt so lonely without you around. Apologize for making me feel unloved. Hey. Hey, there's something I want to ask you. Hmm? Hmm? I totally didn't draw anything on your tummy while you were logged in, okay? Huh? Oh, crap. What? <laughs> I'm kidding. So, what is it you wanted to ask? Is that all right? You planned to meet up with me on the rooftop, right? Did you end up meeting her? Hmm. Oh, see, so you know about that, Shuiji. Impressive, Mr. Ultimate Detective. Okay. Then I'll tell you what happened. I never met up with me because I couldn't get to the rooftop because it was locked. Huh? Locked. Um. After I gave up and went back to the salon and searched for the secret to the outside world. Um. Is that true, Gogichi? Mm -hmm. hmm? Are you doubting me? Did someone verify that you were at the salon the entire time? Did you meet anyone there? Hmm. No, I don't have a witness. Right? We can also say there's no witness who can prove I wasn't there. Yeah. Unless you saw the salon empty yourself. Anyway. Well, it's up to you whether or not you want to believe me or not. Shuichi. But you shouldn't doubt me like that. We're partners. Hmm. Which one is it? Did you can meet up with me or not? Is he lying or telling the truth? Which is it? Hmm. Ah, uh, and you had shit, right? Hey! I've been waiting for you, Shuichi. I'm I'm sure Maki already told you, but I finally finished analyzing the program. Okay. I'm starting to put together a lot of important facts, so here they are. He really is trying to be our friend. A little bit, at least. So. First, the program who uh, the person who program uh, tampered with the program was Mommy, like we suspected. Mm. Mommy was an eccentric way of uh, writing her code, so I knew it was her right away. Oh. I guess her personality was the only eccentric thing about her. Wait a minute. So, what did she tamper with? Um. A few things, but I'll share the first one with you. So. It looks like Mommy deleted a lot of objects from the skilling game simulator. Mm. She said she deleted anything that could be used as a weapon. In that case, why is there a hammer? Okay. That's true. Only the hammer was left. But why was it left? Hmm. I wonder if she tried to kill someone. The way the program was written makes it seem like she did it on purpose. On purpose. Then... Did she add anything? We found a cell phone. Oh, we found a cell phone in the uh, virtual mm. world. Now, that cell phone was the original feature of the program. It implies Mio had uh, hid that fact from us, which means... Um... Oh, mommy added were the two maps. The rest was uh, already uh, part of the program. By the way. Two maps? What maps did she add? By the way, while we're talking about objects, I want to ask you something. We used a signboard to cross the river, but we could still have used something else as a bridge. Mm. Hmm. I don't really see anything that could be used, uh, have been used as a bridge to cross the river. So only that signboard could have been used as a bridge. Mm. So, what's the next thing she tampered with? Well, it looks like she also tampered with certain parameters of the program. <laughs> parameters. She sa he said something about maps earlier. I want to make sure I understood exactly what he said. Uh, to maps. Did she add anything? She added where the two maps. So. Hmm. So she. Oh, 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 the maps, the literal maps, the physical maps that we were looking at. Okay, okay, okay. I thought she was talking about, like, the map, like, the loading zones, like, the actual places we were. I was like, she added the entire. I thought she didn't. Parameters. Um. Everything in that world is categorized as either a human or a non-human uh, object. Of course, everyone's avatar was assigned to be the human parameter. Really? For some reason, Mommy gave her avatar the non-human object parameter. Huh. Does that mean she can... Huh? That's... Well, what happens when you become an object? Hmm. Well, the difference is uh, only for identification purposes, so it probably didn't affect anything. Yeah. Well, if the signboard could have moved between loading areas like it did, I wonder if she could have moved herself uh, on the river like that. Well. But if it didn't affect anything, then why was she gone out of her way to do that? Ah. Perhaps it has something to do with the next thing she tampered with. So. Mommy added a wall that didn't originally exist in the program. Hmm. Um. A wall. Interesting. According to the virtual uh, virtual world, our represent on the XY axis, it seems that Mommy added a wall that runs the length of the Y axis. Huh? She created an additional wall on the sides. Okay, so you know when you look at the no, never mind. I was gonna say that the map makes it look as though 
the map may does, may, does make it look as though you have like the cliff face almost like connected on both sides. You have the river that's basically like connected on both sides, but the forest doesn't seem to have that up top. So that's a bit weird. Maybe that's just how she drew it. Maybe it's meant to seem like it's not like that because she drew the map. Hey. But you're positive there's only one, okay. right? Yep, it's definitely the only one. What does that mean? And she added the wall to make it seem like she couldn't go through that when she really could, right? Hmm. Which wall was the one you added? What is the wall uh, world like originally? You said there wasn't anything past the wall. Was that another lie? So she added both walls on the side? Or is that considered the one wall? Or are we trying to debate which one was the right one that she actually added? That's... Hmm. Okay. Two down the y-axis, so we're not considering that one wall. So it's only one of those two? That's weird. Is that not a lie? Yeah, she's hiding a lot of random shit. Um. Oh, so it looks like the extra wall is given a special setting. A setting that allows non-human objects to pass through it. Allows objects through. I oh, I see. That's very interesting. Hey, hey. So, uh, are those the things that she tampered with? Ah. Oh, there's one more thing, too. Hmm. So, uh, one of you guys already had a strange setting to... Uh, one of you guys had a strange setting given to their avatar. Huh? A strange setting. Okay. Yeah, something made it so they wouldn't, uh, they would be able, unable to move if mommy touched them. She definitely was planning to kill someone. Then. So if you touched them, their avatar would be paralyzed. Everything she's hiding seems perfectly hidden for the sake of planning a murder. <laughs> so, who was it? Oh. Ah, it was Kokichi. Ah. Interesting. So she was probably planning to uh, kill Kokichi because Kokichi was, I guess, disliked? Maybe they disliked it? She just disliked him? Maybe? Possibly? Not really sure what other reason. Ah, uh, it's me. I didn't even know that. Uh, well, duh. I wouldn't know. I never touched uh, Mio in that world. So Kokichi couldn't have done it? Or is it just if she actively chose to touch? Hmm. Be unable to move if mommy touched them. Then again, what does the car key do? I still thought if, if it did something like gave him administrator access, he could have changed that. But then again, it doesn't sound like it was changed. Maybe it was changed back. I see. I see. I didn't even notice. Okie dokie. Hmm, that's all I have to report. Well, do you think it will help you guys okay. out? That helps a lot. Thank you. Hmm. Mio's avatar has been updated in truth for the section of Yala Mana Ben. Well, and if I mean it has been added. Setting Kishi's avatar. Hmm. Ah. Oh, this is a hard one. I'm suspecting Kivo less because he provided information that. Well, then again, the whole meeting thing. Hmm. Might never have happened. Maybe the idea that they were planning to meet there. He was added just to implicate Kokichi more than himself, maybe? Hmm. Then again, there's a whole thing about everyone being in the chapel. Sort of not being a suspect, because they all knew they were there together, right? And there's nothing weird about his avatar, either. I mean, it seems pretty obvious that, um... Well, maybe that setting was set to Kokichi. Because, uh, if he tried to kill her, then that would cause him to stop. Hmm. Oh, I should probably tell you this, too. That's probably not related to the case. So. Uh, some sort of Avatar user error occurred when you all logged in for the first time. Uh, um, An error? Hmm. The contents of the error are unknown, so I couldn't provide any details. Something strange definitely happened to someone's Avatar when you all logged in. Well. I'm guessing it has to do with the plugs being the wrong way. I don't think anyone's Avatar was acting strange, though. What kind of error could that be? That's important information. Mia was acting particularly weird. And then again, that could just be related to the fact that she seems like she's planning to murder someone. Avatar error has been added to the truth bullet section of your monoban. Oh. Huh? <sighs> okay, everyone. Time for the class trial. You okay, Monica? You know. That thing where everyone stands in a circle and talks about the dead body. Hmm? Low energy? Me? No, no, I'm excited. 
Really? Sounds like it. I'm just taking a little break right now. When I'm done, I'll be my usual energized self. Yep, I'll be way more energized later. Anyway, that's all. Okay. Weird. Hey! Seem like you're not into it at all. We don't have to do the class trial, you know? <laughs> but it's gonna start, huh? We can no stop it anymore. Right. No, we can't. So. That's all I can tell you guys, but I don't want any of you to forget. I... I'm your friend. I definitely didn't kill Miu. What? Wait, what if you killed Miu? Huh? He just decided we're friends. Thank you. Thank you. You're going to feel relieved. <laughs> don't worry, Manitaro. See, would you get revenge for Miu's death? That's so mm. mean. I don't get that revenge by finding the culprit among us. He's right. The culprit is someone here. Thanks. Thank you, everyone. Thank you so much. When the class trial is over, I hope we can all get to know each other better. <sighs> uh, it's the kind of line that triggers a death flag. Okay. I want a fresh start. I want to make up for my past mistakes. Wait. That's so. Yeah, he's probably gonna be the next man up to die. Bye. Meeting you all is really. Sorry. Uh, sorry, it's nothing. I'll save it for after the class trial is finished. Yeah. Ah, the flag is rising. <laughs> what was that? I think I overheard. Uh, I heard something over there. All right. I'll go check it out all by myself. So bye bye. Long. Farewell. Maybe he'll be dead by the time we get to the class trial. What did you say? <laughs> It's waving in the wind. Oh stupid. no. It's screwing around. Let's hurry up and go. Going to do his best. Going to do his best too. Going to do his best to be uh, even a little bit useful for everyone. Wow. I'm so excited. I definitely expose the culprit this time. <laughs> I'm so exciting about this. Uh, with uh, conflicting emotions in our hearts, we headed to the shrine of judgment. <sighs> Sucks, man. It's good knowing you. You had your annoying side, and you had your funny side. Goddamn shame. Goddamn shame. Okay. I think this is probably where I'm going to leave it for now. Hmm. I'm uh, not sure exactly how much this will be edited down, but I think these two episodes I just recorded. Fine place to end it. Um, as for who's... Who's guilty? Mm. So really doubt Gonta. Really doubt Emigo. Really doubt Samugi. Really doubt Maki. That basically leaves Kokichi, Kaido, Kibo. Those are the only ones I really think he could be at this point. Unless I'm forgetting someone. I'm not forgetting someone, am I? It might be. So Shuichi, definitely not. Kaido, maybe. Konta, I hard to imagine. Kokichi, easy to imagine. Kibo, impossible. Really doubt it. I really just doubt she'd kill anyone at this point. She doesn't seem to be in the frame of mind to even try to consider that. Uh, yeah, I doubt that too. I mean, just because she was with me, I'm very doubtful. So that does leave those three, doesn't it? Hmm. If I had to pick one, Kokichi seems the most suspicious, but he seems like the most obvious suspicious one. At the same time, he does seem to actually be trying to manipulate the situation a bit. He doesn't seem to be giving information that he wouldn't have to have given otherwise, so it does seem as though this might be his opportunity. Kaido doesn't seem likely. It seems like he might have accidentally... He could have accidentally killed someone. But he was logged out at the same time. The fact that um he's logged out probably means he was logged out before anything happened. Kibo seems possible. At the same time, he did give me that information about the rooftop. If he really wanted to avoid suspicion, well, I suppose he could have been trying to direct suspicion elsewhere, so it doesn't rule out entirely, but it does seem to suggest that. So honestly, as much as it seems like an obvious choice, things do seem to be pointing towards Gokichi at the moment. Damn it. Okay, well, I'll leave it that for now. I'll see you all next time. Drive safely, everyone. Once a powerful show.